You're watching the Chalvey Working Men's Club Open and it's the Pairs Final filmed in Slough in early December. And the two teams that have battled it out to reach the final, they've won three to four matches to reach this point. Well, Dale Pilgrim and Cam and Crabtree and you've seen an earlier round match I hope on the channel where they got the better of Terry Stubbs and Alex Ball and they take on a team much closer to home to Slough. Now uh, I'm going to have one go at John's name and hope that I get this right as John Wazelchuk who is mercifully nicknamed Chuck so that is what he will be referred to, John will be referred to throughout this uh, match and he teams with James Brick who you can see on your screen there in the Nike shirt and uh, Brick plays for Rax Super League team in the Berkshire Men's Super League. So essentially Surrey versus Berkshire here you feel and a strong start here from Pilgrim as a one three seven they certainly seem to have found their footing early in the early going that's a nice visit from Chuck so two treble twenties there from Crabtree single lead tops he nearly busts it but uh, gets away with it and so leaves 55 after 12 a flying start here very short format first to four we'll take the title here Brick and Chuck just haven't quite gone out of the blocks yet 14 data to kick us off in this pairs final a strong hold of throw to get us underway I guess the team name for John and James would be hashtag Chuck Brick thank you very much here all day thank you for watching do subscribe <laughs> while you're here if you want to hear more excellent jokes like that uh, but more importantly for more local darts tournament coverage farm events in the south of England. Certainly great to be able to get to all these tournaments again. Crabtree backing up the 140 with a 140 of his own. Got a big golf in the averages there. I know they're only a guide, but uh, always a good indicator of the form that they're in. Chuck and Brick beat the pairing of Lee Newman and uh, I'm just checking my notes here Matthew Kiernan yes I've heard of him uh, that was their first round contest and they survived uh, match darts in that to get through so just goes to show 96 needed here for Crabtree certainly in a strong position here to break to back up their hold of throw and they will be back for that 56. So I said that preemptively there, so apologies. But tops needed for Pilgrim. Hit this in the first leg. Can't find it in his second. All good match practice this for, especially for Pilgrim and Crabtree, who will be targeting Q School and the challenge tour if Q score doesn't come off and of course the modus super series because both of them play in that as well another lucrative avenue for darts players that aren't quite on the pro tour 107 here and Jack's going to get a chance at this 10 leaves tops this will hold their throw they wouldn't have thought they would have got this opportunity it was close you can see he's frustrated it was a good effort, but double ten for Pilgrim, double five, chasing around the board, not easy, and does find it, so 21 data, not as convincing as perhaps that should have been, but 
they get over the line reset and now throwing for a three nil advantage and that's a lovely start Hilgrim has played 58 matches on the challenge tour this year it's quite something is top of the dark necked averages which I appreciate we get too excited about don't we but it's always a good indicator a nice 140 there from Chuck just reminds Pilgrim and Crabtree this isn't going to be easy to get over the line here I think Crabtree's played a similar number of uh, matches on the development tour this year development tour semi-finalist Pilgrim a Challenge Tour semi-finalist. Very long days they are and very, very competitive. So they're used to playing at a high level. Chuck and Brick just have to try and keep in touch here. And a lovely last dart ensures that they're doing just that. The Crabtree in. Hits a 180. Perfect time. Nod of the head from Brick. He knows that that was a, a good visit. Both Brick and Chuck have to say have very nice throws, don't they? Not much wrong with their technique. I have to say double 12. Pilgrim could have been a 13 dart. We'll take a 14. This is a very strong display in this pairs final. It's not easy to always maintain your momentum in pairs. But 3 0 the advantage to Pilgrim and Crabtree, and they just want one more leg to take the spoils here. Crabtree made his debut on the Modus Super Series just a few weeks ago before this was recorded. First game up, it was about 10 in the morning and he averaged 115. So um, he's in good form, is I think the point that I'm making. Just signed for Windmill and uh, a very exciting signing he is as well. Hit that nine data, of course, against Nathan Gervin on the development tour. So... He certainly has a lot going for him at the moment. A big visit here from Pilgrim could be the decisive blow and two big trebles. Puts daylight between the two pairs and Brick has to come up with the goods here and that's a great start. Let's dislodge the flight but a great third dart. Livens things up very nicely. Trouble needed. The Crabtree's not going to find it, so Chuck with a chance here to keep this final alive and get down to a finish. That's a great second dart. Just worked his way up the board there. They do get down to 1 3 4, but what kind of Pressure will they be under? Good last dart from Pilgrim. A lot of pressure is the answer. So Brick needs two trebles in this combination. Treble five wasn't one of them. So they leave themselves 80, so it's this could go. So 100 for the match. Tops tops, perhaps. Well, there's one. And there's another. That's unbelievable, isn't it? He does love a double-double finish, does Crabtree. And, uh, oh, yes, he enjoyed that. And why not? It's uh, always great to do, especially to win a match. So congratulations to Dale Pilgrim and Cameron Crabtree on winning the pairs at the Chelby Working Men's Club Open. Commiserations to Chuck and Brick. And thank you for watching.